The Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation and its history as a council has only switched twice on the electoral divide from the People's National Movement. It's a region that spans the east-west corridor and the start of central Trinidad. Tunapuna Piaco is the fifth largest region in Trinidad and Tobago and the area accounts for 200 square miles. The region has approximately 19 miles of rugged coastline with the Caribbean Sea in the north. It's the home to the two tallest mountain peaks, El Cerro del Arripo and El Tacuch, both standing over 3,000 feet and is said to be the continuation of the Andes mountain range in mainland South America. The Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation has the largest council out of the 14 other corporations in Trinidad. It's also the largest by population. But with local government elections right around the corner, let's talk to the Burgesses, hear how they feel this council has worked for them in the last three years. Ten districts cover the whole corporation, and at the helm is councillor and the chairman Paul Leacock, who has served the region for the last six years. Sitting in the seat of control, Chairman Leacock was honest that the corporation wanted to do more but was strapped for funding. And what we did is we increased our revenue. And we increased our revenue by going out there and do things that were a little more innovative that didn't put a burden on the, on, on, on the average person. So for instance, making sure that we collect all our market fees, making sure that we um, open that 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 um, Eddie Hat project we also are looking at some recycling projects despite the challenges the corporation has its local economic development plans they have aimed for projects in tourism entrepreneurship and sport at Eddie Hart ground a popular site in the corporation known for sport and family recreation we spoke to doubles vendor Roberto Caseppi he is satisfied with the plans of the corporation and how they have created facilities for him to ply his trade. But he has concerns about the traffic in the Tunapuna area. And I'm seeking as a vendor and they, they're going to make a permanent spot. But for now, everything is going really, really, um, really fine here. The old, one of the major problems we have within the Tunapuna district, not just here, is the traffic issue, right? And if you would look, if you would look straight there, you would see um, there's a bridge, right? That bridge there, all the traffic bottlenecks in that area and cause traffic from east to west, real traffic. Leaving Eddie Hart grounds in the east, we went to Harlem Village in Frederick Settlement, an area that has predominantly voted for the United National Congress. This village, this village entirely condemned as far as I hear for over 30 years. Over 30 years is condemned by the corporation. Every councillor come here do the same thing. MP, don't talk about an MP at all. You don't see them until an election then. Tunapuna Piaco is one of the most geographically diverse regions in Trinidad. With the challenges presented by a lack of funding, Chairman Likak shared some of his innovative plans as the economy gets better. Patching and, and fixing drains and, and that kind of thing. We understand that we haven't done some of that. Um, but on the other end, we've also been innovative in some of the other things we've done. So we've partnered with um, private enterprise. So for instance, we have the, the arrangement with Terminex and La Hoqueta Rangers, where we allow them to take um, physical possession of one of our ground while we maintain ownership. The concerns of the Burgesses remain the same, lack of support from the corporation. Well, right now, nothing has been happening because corporation not doing anything down here. For example, you have a football field right on the corner, if you can see. The people have to take money from their own pockets to cut the ground because they're not coming to help cut the ground. We had to maintain it surrounded because too much of mosquitoes. Can't even tell you last time they come to spray for any mosquitoes or anything like that. As developmental plans continue for the region and a possible increase to the allocations allotment to Tunapuna Piaco Regional Corporation, Plus an election looming, Chairman Leacock is confident that the People's National Movement will retain the cooperation in the upcoming local government elections. Whether it is me or somebody new, we intend to carry on that tradition. In PNM, we are structured in a way where when we come into this job, you apply for a job as a councillor. That's the job I applied for. 
if the party should choose to choose another leader, what it will do is give me an opportunity to learn more. The chairman gave himself 7.5 out of 10 for his three-year tenure. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.